Hey, it's Pastor Don here. We're at uh, the feeding station tent. You can see the tent over here. And today we've had some more volunteers come in. These are from Kansas City, Missouri. And we've got three teenagers here that are part of the youth group that want to talk to us about what it means to them, uh, their experience here so far, what they expect, and what the blessings are that uh, they're going to start with. The first one is actually a seller of purple, believe it or not. Her name is Lydia, and I'm going to look at her right now. Lydia. Whoops, I can't see it. i got to do this. All right, Lydia. Hi. So how old are you, Lydia? I am 15. You're going to have to talk real loud. I'm 15. You're 15 years old. Is this the first mission trip you've been on? No. Where else have you been? I've been to White River, South Dakota. It is in the second poorest county in the United States. Okay, so this is like your second mission trip? Yes. Okay. Uh, on this mission trip, when did you guys decide to come to Joplin? Uh, we came here. We were going to go on a Kansas City mission trip in our own um, city, but when the tornado hit, we decided that this is what God wanted us to do. Okay, and did I already ask you how old you are? Yes. Okay, I couldn't remember. <laughs> and so what are you doing out here to help serve? Um, just various jobs every day. We have connected with an organization and they're just sending us to whoever needs a bunch of able bodies. We've done multiple things. Um, we've have, have you cleaned up houses and yards and things like that also? Yes. So you've done everything everybody's doing, mm -hmm. and, and then today you're here helping feed people. Yes. So what have you learned from this experience? I mean, how has it opened your eyes or changed your life, or what will you remember when you leave here? It's just really humbling to be able to put others before you and to just come out and work and serve others and just be Christ-like and show Jesus to others through yourself. So if somebody had an opportunity to come, would you tell them, yeah, it's really worth it, or would you say, nah, don't bother? I would say it is probably the best experience I've ever had, so you should really come. You rock, Lydia. <laughs> Next to Lydia is Kat. Hi! Hi! My friend, <laughs> my friend Kat is very nervous about this. She doesn't know about the whole video thing. But uh, Kat, how old are you? I'm 13. 13 years old. And you came here with this group also. How long have you guys been here? We've been here since Monday. So just uh, this is your fourth day here. And you also have been out there doing all the same kind of things where you were uh, picking up trash and helping people get their yards put back together and sorting through stuff and all of that. And uh, today you're here at the feeding tent. What are you going to remember when you leave from here? Um, that I'm not the only person that needs things. Other people, I guess, need stuff. So being able to see outside yourself is pretty important to you and see the, the needs that they have. Okay. All right. And is this your first mission trip? Um, it's my second. Your second? Okay. Yeah. The first I went to Show Me Christian Youth Home in, somewhere in Missouri. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. But uh, very worthwhile, do you think, or, or is this like a waste of time and you can't wait to get back home? Um, it's worthwhile, I think. It'll, it changes. Your now, are you guys sleeping at a hotel? Are you camping out? Do you drive back and forth every day, or what? Um, we're sleeping in a church, Carthage Church. In the Carthage Church? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so are you like in sleeping bags on air mattresses or on cots or on the pews? or? You know, I'm a pastor, and when people sleep in church, I usually don't like it. But for a, for something like this, I can understand how that would be okay. Well, we're sleeping in air, on air mattresses or um, just mats on the ground. So it's like camping out inside, right? Yeah. Okay, very cool. And this is Preston. Is Preston your brother or your brother? What? No. Um, you're nobody's brother. I'm my sister's brother. You're your sister's she's brother, but, she's but your sister there. isn't here with us right now. No, she's right. She's waving. She's waving. Wave big. Hi. All right, Preston, you're how old? Um, I'm 13. But you're going to be 14 pretty soon, right? Uh -huh. In August? So, That's yeah. what you told me. My birthday's in August also. Cool. So is this your first mission trip, Preston? Yes, it is. And you're pretty excited about being here? Uh-huh. It's the first time I've been old enough to come. And I just, uh, I'm just happy to come here and help out the people of Joplin. So tell me about that, because I heard another group, that they were talking about how when they were growing up, they knew that their youth group went on mission trips every summer, and they couldn't wait to get old enough to go. Is that kind of how you felt about it? Yeah, um, I was really disappointed last year when we couldn't go to um, South Dakota because that's where my family lives and I wanted to go. Um, we went to an Indian reservation and helped out the people there and I, I, I got to go and like see it and then I had to leave. But, but you didn't get to stay and help with the thing. No. But this year you're old enough to stay and help and that's pretty this, cool. Yeah, this year, and there's 
quite a few jobs, and um, I get to, uh, I've cooked, I've um, cleaned yards, hauled debris, um, I think, uh, we even go out and just like hand people sandwiches and say, do you want a bottle of water, just trying to get as much help out there as we can, and it really makes a difference. You know, some people will, will look at you guys and they'll remember the impact that you made on their lives and, and they'll think that Jesus looks like you. What do you think about that? I mean, you get to be the hands and feet of Jesus right here in the lives of people. Isn't that? It's pretty cool. I think that's very cool. Very cool. Well, if you had one thing that you could tell people about this experience and you could only tell them one thing, what would you tell them? What would you tell them, Lydia? The one thing. The one thing, um, probably that just seeing people's reactions and how it's, some are still in shock, some just don't know what to do, but just being able to help is okay. just like being Jesus. All right. Kat, what do you think? Did you come up with anything, one thing you would tell them, if you could tell them one thing? Um, well, like Lydia said, I think being like Jesus is probably the best thing you could try to be, so it's kind of cool to at least attempt to it's okay. what we're called to do. Say that again? It's what we're called to do, so whatever we can do to help is helpful. Okay. So Preston, <laughs> what about you? Did you come up with one thing? Uh, one thing to tell people? Um, well, I guess, yeah, it's a really good experience, and it, I, I feel sorry for anyone who ever missed out on this. You know, one of the things that amazes me is that it doesn't matter how old or how young you are. We had a we had a kid here yesterday, maybe it was today. Was he with you guys, the guy that was standing on the crate, was serving the food? Or you didn't see that? Okay. But he was he was probably maybe 13 or might have been 12 or 11. But he was so little, so short, he had to stand up on a crate to help serve the food. But he was helping to serve. So it really doesn't matter how old or how young you are. There's something you can do. There's a place for you anywhere. Exactly. Hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah.